Hello, today is Tuesday, April 28th. And today what we're going to talk about is what to do when your focus needs more focus. So I feel like some days I'm getting up, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. So you wake up, you brush your teeth, start working, eat lunch, stop, start working again, watch some TV with the family, eat some dinner, go to bed, get up, do the same thing over and over and over again. Like it doesn't change. And we've been doing this now for seven weeks, distance learning for six weeks, and we have a month to go. So we need to work on our focus or I need to work on my focus. So just some helpful tips of what to do when your focus is losing focus. So first thing, number one, give yourself credit. So I don't know if anyone's realized this and sometimes it's hard to realize with what's going on, but we're doing something right now that no one's done before. Like there's no right or wrong way to do distance learning the way we're doing it and to the extent we're doing it because no one has ever done this before. Your teachers haven't, principals haven't, our superintendent hasn't. This is something new for all of us. So give yourself credit for what we're doing. We're in, um, we're doing something that's never been done. So give yourself credit for that. Number two, take it one day at a time. So day by day, look at what you're doing, do what you need to get done for that day, but don't worry about what's gonna happen tomorrow right now. Only work on what's happened today. Take it one day at a time, be in the present. Take it even one hour, one 30 minute section, one Zoom class at a time. Take it slow. Number three, acknowledge your progress. So if you look at your platform, if you're in Connect, or if you look at Odysseyware, or you look at your Google Classroom, it does look different than it did before. If you've been working, it's changed. So acknowledge that you've made progress and that you're making progress. Your teachers are acknowledging that. When we're in meetings, they are saying to um, me, to Ms. Salazar, to Mr. Ebley, to Ms. Powers, to Ms. Harris, they're saying that y'all are doing good things. So you're making progress, you're, you're striving to get better, you're doing good things, so give yourself that credit. Take it one day at a time, acknowledge your process. Um, your progress, sorry. And then the last thing is don't compare yourself to other people. So some people may say, well, I have finished all of my reading assignments or I have finished all of this and every, everyone's not the same. So compare yourself just to yourself. Look at what you're doing, look at what you need to do every day and only compare yourself to who you are and what you're doing. So the last thing that we need to do is believe in ourselves. So say to yourself right now, I can do this. I can do this. So that's what you should be saying in your head when you're talking to yourself in your head, I can do this. Say it now, I can't hear you. I can do this. I can do this. What you hear on the inside becomes your reality. So what you're hearing yourself say to, say to you on the inside is what your reality becomes. So if you say, I can do this, then that becomes your reality. If you say, I can't do this, then that becomes your reality. So I can do this. And remember that when you start losing focus, when your focus needs more focus, then there are some things you can do. You can breathe, which is something that we've talked about a lot during the year. Take a deep breath, and that'll help you regain your focus. Another thing you can do is exercise. So when you feel like you're losing your focus, go and walk around the house a couple of times. Take a couple of, you know, 100 steps, and then come back and get busy again. Do some push-ups, do some jumping jacks, do some exercise. And the, another thing you could do is just ask for help. So your teachers are here for you. Your teachers are gonna answer your questions if you have any questions. If you need to know every single day what you need to be working on, then just ask your teachers and they can help you. So send them an email at the beginning of every day 
say, hey, what should I work on today? And they can let you know what you should do because your teachers have been there for you all year. Your teachers are still there for you during distance learning. And if you need them, they're there. So if you need something, ask for help. Ask one of your teachers. So I hope you have a great day and continue learning and we'll see you soon.